Hey Steve here and in this video you'll learn my favourite Photoshop technique for increasing the warm sunrise glow in a photo using luminosity masks and a simple colour fill adjustment layer in Photoshop. Now this tutorial involves the use of luminosity masks so if you're just getting started and you'd like to download my free PDF guide in intro to luminosity masking then just click the link in the video uh, in the description below this video now and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified every time I publish a new video. And remember, if you like this video, just hit that little uh, thumbs up button to let me know so I can keep making more videos just like it. So the image that we're working on today is a uh, semi-processed image. If you saw my last video, uh, then you'll recognize it. And so what I'm going to be doing here is first I'll show you the technique for uh, warming the image. And then I'll show you where the luminosity mask comes in to uh, to blend the effect in and really uh, and really give it that nice realistic natural effect. So the first thing, I mean, this is going to be a really quick tutorial. First thing I need to do is just add a solid color adjustment layer to my image. And I already uh, just ran through this uh, before I hit record, and so I've already got a, a decent color selected here. But what we're looking for is like a kind of a goldy orangey glow. Uh, so this color here is good. So I'll hit OK. And next thing is to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. And so obviously this looks really horrible right now. So the first thing that I'll do is reduce the opacity of this all the way down to somewhere around about 30%. Okay, now that's blended it in OK, but it's still just looks like a really strong color cast across the whole image, which is not what we want. Um, you know, everything is being uh, given that kind of golden glow evenly across the whole frame. And that wouldn't necessarily happen if we're trying to recreate or trying to enhance this sunrise effect uh, because the shadows would stay a lot more cooler. And this effect would uh, mainly be in the highlights of the image, uh, the things that are being lit the most by the sun. So to uh, to make that happen in uh, in this image I'm going to remove this adjustment layer uh, layer mask so I'm just going to click and drag it down to the bin and I'm going to come into the channels panel and just load a selection based on the RGB channel and yeah if uh, if you want a full explanation of how this stuff works uh, I've got I'll put a little link just up in the corner of the video here somewhere uh, you should see a little pop up uh, with another video that will show you um, exactly what's going on here. But just to run through the technique quickly with you in here in this video, I'll on the keyboard hold Command or Control, click once on the RGB channel, and then back over into the Layers panel. Make sure I've got the Color Fill layer selected, and then hit the Add Layer Mask icon there. And what that does, it loads that selection into the layer mask of this Color Fill layer. And so what that does, because when we load the RGB channel as a selection, it's essentially creating a selection that is loading or that, that isolates everything to the right of the middle of the histogram. So in other words, the highlights. And so if I just press uh, Alt or Option and click on the uh, layer mask there, we can see what that looks like um, when loaded into the mask. And so everything in the mask that is lighter than uh, middle gray, the uh, the color fill is going to show through and everything that is darker is going to show less uh, than in the stronger parts. If it's pure black, then it won't show at all. If it's pure white, then it's going to show 100%. And so all the grays in between are just a gradation of, of that. Um, but in, uh, well, in, in practical terms, what that means is that this color fill layer now is showing mainly in the highlights and it's being excluded from the shadows which means it is blended in in a much more natural way so if i disable and re-enable the layer a few more times just to toggle that off and on you can see the effect that that's had and now disabling the layer mask again just to remind you what it looked like shift click on the mask it takes it from that really weird kind of you know overly warm image all around to being that nicely blended sunrise effect and uh, yeah what that also gives us is a bit more leeway to be able to increase the opacity of this layer to really make that sun glow 
Now, you probably don't want to go too far. Still want to try and retain a bit of uh, realism. So somewhere in between 30 to 40% is probably going to be about as far as I want to go for this particular image. And there we go. That's, uh, that's the technique. I hope you find it useful and you can use it in, uh, in a shot. And if you do, then let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, just another quick reminder, just hit that like button if you like this video and this technique. Uh, just give it a thumbs up so that I can keep making more videos just like this one. So with that said, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.